Hey channel, welcome back to the War Room. In this video, I'm doing a detailed breakdown on the uniforms and equipment that makes up the iconic Grenadier unit from Company of Heroes 2. Grenadiers are the core infantry of the Ostir faction. In the game, the unit has four men, and roughly represents half an infantry squad. Grenadiers could be upgraded with a MG-42 or a pair of G-43s. They also come with rifle grenades and can fire Panzerfausts. The Grenadier is a bread-and-butter unit for every Ostir player, and I love using these guys in pairs to simulate a proper infantry squad, giving me the flexibility for flanking and doing fire and maneuvers. I hope that's enough background for those unfamiliar with Company of Heroes. In this video, I'm challenging myself to recreate this iconic unit in one-sixth scale. Starting at the very top, the Grenadier is wearing a full set of splinter pattern camouflage, which is the proper pattern worn by the Wehrmacht. There is a band on the helmet, which I think it's okay. German troops were known to use helmet bands, but those were mainly rubber. The one depicted in game is clearly made from canvas and is set way too high. German troops did use canvas helmet bands which came from breadbag straps, but those were really long and required special knots. Again, this is a game. So, I'm gonna move on. The uniform underneath looks like a M41 German tunic, you can tell by the brass button and bright collar insignia. Both were darkened in later uniform variants. What's interesting is that his camouflage jacket looks like another M43 tunic, which doesn't make any sense because he's already wearing a tunic underneath. It's like wearing two suits. It would make more sense for him to wear an undershirt beneath, but I get from a design perspective he would lose the iconic collar insignia. I did some digging and it looks like these splinter-patterned M43 tunics were extremely rare mostly made via spare Zeltbahn tent materials by local tailors. Hence, they weren't actually issued by the Heer. From an authenticity standpoint, it doesn't make sense for grenadiers to be wearing it in mass. The field equipment is where I also have a lot of gripe. German rifle ammo had three pouches per side, and these are two per side only, and they kind of look like G43 pouches. They should be K98 pouches since the grenadier unit in game start off with K98 rifles. Breadbag, canteen, knife, and entrenchment tools are all spot on, but they've got these canvas straps that are leading to nowhere. In my impression, I'm going to put in a gas canister and a rifle grenade pouch to supply the slings. The canister is universal to all German infantry, and the rifle grenade pouch fits right on with the unit's rifle grenade ability in game. Now I've assembled all the parts, let's make it happen. And wow! I think this figure came out really, really well. The canvas straps breaking up the splinter camouflage with black leather overlaps is an amazing combination. The inner M41 tunic and its bright white collar insignia also does a good job highlighting the unit's role as a core infantry. The field gear in the back is a little more crowded than what I'm used to. I had to really cram the rifle grenade pouch on top of the entrench tool. This is because the pouch is attached to the belt while in real life it just hangs loose. That being said, I'm really happy with the iconic cross-canvas effect the straps are able to recreate. At this point of filming, I was really regretting not slapping in an inner shirt on the figure to cover up those disgusting wrist bulges. I think this is a fantastic design and Relic really did a great job coming up with it. From an artistic standpoint, this is a 5 out of 5. The color is striking, the design is unique but still very toned to play the part of a common infantry. From an authenticity standpoint, 3 out of 5. I'm taking points off for the cross straps that leads to nowhere and also the double tunics. The outfit is also way too late war for a game that uses it to portray Germans in 1941. Attacking the Russian dogs. Ivan! And he shoots as bad as he spells! Soviet forces are engaging us! Thanks so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. It costs nothing and will really help me grow the channel. This is The War Room, signing off.